Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I told you that I would do a part two to the Taurus tracker in 44 mag. I just got this back from Taurus. Um, they did uh, give me a service paper with it. And it says warranty repair, blah, 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 blah. Your firearm has been repaired under lifetime repair policy. Thank you for being a Taurus owner. Sincerely, customer service. They said they fixed the cylinder. They adjusted it. Um, they also adjusted the barrel forcing cone. Um, and then <laughs> they said they tested some ammo with it. Just right down here, they said they tested, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but they tested 410 two and a half inch Winchester rounds. And they also did some Winchester 45 Colt, 255 grain. I don't know if you can see that or not. So they tested 410 shotgun rounds and uh, also, 45 Colt, or 45 Long Colt, out of 44 Magnum. That's only supposed to shoot 44 Magnum and uh, 44 Special. Interesting to me how they did that. So, makes me wonder if they even tested it at all, or whether it's just a typo, or maybe they're doing their service work down in Mexico or something, and they just have a little bit of language barrier. I don't know. So, this is going to be the first couple shots, and I'm going to be experiencing it with you guys on camera. Um, I did pick up some Fiocchi um, 44 Special 200 grain SJHP, so 50 cartridges. So, last time I only tested Hornady Lever Evolution. Um, I think they're 240 grain, um, 44 magnum rounds. Um, I only bought 20 of them. I only tested 20, and that's the issue that I had in part one. I had all those issues just under 20 rounds. The first 20 rounds I shot out of the pistol buying it brand new. So, you guys are going to experience this with me. Um, this is the first rounds I've shot since I've gotten it back. I'm going to go get some ears on and I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, got some ears on. Here's the first couple shots shooting Fiocchi 44 Special in 44 Special 200 grain rounds out of the Taurus Tracker. Okay, so not so bad so far. Um, we'll do a few more shoots, reload, do a few more shoots, and see if I have any more problems. So far, it seems pretty well. Um, the recoil in the 44 Special versus the 44 Magnum, big difference, especially with this handgun, it being so light and a shorter barrel. Okay, next five shots. Okay, pretty smooth shooting there. Um, also not having the problems that I had with the other rounds extracting them from the cylinder. So we're good there too. Let's do another five.
We'll have a bunch of experience shooting revolvers. Um, more experience shooting semi-autos. But, I will definitely have to practice a little bit. Um, finger positioning, the sights may be off, but it's probably me. So, getting used to, you know, having your trigger finger in there far enough, you know, with semi-autos, you want it right there, right there in the sweet spot, not too much in the crease, not too much to the tip, or you'll push it left or right. Um, this one I gotta play with a little bit. Even in single shot, I'm, I'm a little bit, uh, shooting a little bit right, I think, pulling. So, we'll see if I can get my finger positioning right and then uh, get a little bit more practice with this. So guys, I might have just gotten a lemon from the factory. Um, this is kind of changing my outlook. This is the way I think it should have been in the first part one video. Um, it seems like to me that it is functioning a whole lot better. Um, maybe just a mess up on their part, um, releasing this revolver into production. But, uh, you know, all gun, gun companies do produce lemons, and uh, I don't think they do it on purpose. Of course not, because then it costs more money for them to ship it back and repair it and everything else. Um, I did not like the fact that they made me pay for my own shipping um, to ship it out to them for the, the warranty repair. Um, they did pay for it to be shipped back, but I don't like the fact I think they should have re reimbursed the customer. Um, they said an 11 week turnaround, um, I think they're right about spot on on their turnarounds as far as estimation on time of when, um, they return it back to the customer. Um, I will have to shoot some more 44 mags out of this. Um, I haven't shot any of the 300 grain HSMs in there. Uh, I think, um, I'm going to do another take here and try shooting some of those. First, I'm going to go through the manual. Some people said in my part one video that it says in the manual that uh, you're not supposed to use heavy loads for this handgun. Um, I quickly looked through it yesterday before I brought it out here today. I didn't see any of that. I'm going to take another closer look, read through all of it. Um, I, I, I don't know. So I did hear that in the comments. I'm going to look through that real quick, and then uh, I'm going to try some HSM uh, 300 grain 44 Magnum loads. So far, so good in part two. Other than my shooting. Oh, I'm going to shoot five more just because uh, I'm kind of enjoying this pistol now, to be uh, completely honest with you. And uh, throughout all these gun reviews that I ever do, I will be completely honest with you on what I think. And I am definitely open for criticism and everything else. I do have a few people that troll, but I think that's uh, just their uh, miserable way of getting along through life. Okay, let's try some of the 44 mag HSM 300 grain loads, bare loads. Okay, so after reading a little bit through the Taurus manual, 
says nothing about higher grain loads. It only says stuff about plus P, um, high pressure loads, high velocity, stuff like that. So stuff that's rated plus P, they don't recommend in their revolvers, but they said nothing about high grained loads. So I know somebody said something about torus revolvers don't allow you to have heavy loads. Well, this should be just fine. So 44 Magnum in HSM 300 grain loads. Um, it is not plus P, it is nothing like that, but they do sell this for people that want to protect themselves from bear in bear defense situations. So we're going to try a few of these. I'm going to get them loaded up and then uh, we're going to shoot them and see if we have any issues. Last time, remember that they would not, the cylinder with five of these loaded up would not even chamber into the revolver. So we'll see how it works. I can get them out. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, they will not fit, but for the first time, <laughs> I should have looked at this last time, they are slightly protruding from the cylinder itself. They are just a little bit too long. So this is not a problem with, well, I, I guess it could be a problem for both, really. Um, the cylinder's not long enough for, the rounds are too long, I'm not sure. So, I'll probably be shooting these out of the Marlin 1894 SBL and 44 mag that I get sometime later on this year. So, maybe after taxes. So, I guess we'll just be shooting a few more rounds with these 44 specials that I bought here from Fioki or Fiacci or I think it's Fioki and then we're gonna wrap this video up and uh, I think I'll probably get some new grips for this thing I don't know if I will sell this thing like I talked about in the first video this is kind of give me a, a, a better outlook for this pistol so I'm not sure if I'll end up uh, trading this out or um, selling it off or whatnot. Um, now after shooting it and having this kind of experience with it, um, I kind of like it. So maybe just a lim lemon. You got to be careful. Um, make sure that if you do have problems with your Taurus revolver, you uh, get a hold of your local gun shop. They can send it in for you. Um, I think that's a lot easier than, especially if it's a gun shop you trust. I think that's a lot easier sending them through them than it would be sending them in anywhere else, which you would have to do it through some type of FFL. So, um, yeah, so far so good. So, all right, last five shots. This will be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 shots that I have tested um, since I've gotten it back from the manufacturer and uh doing the service on it so obviously they did do the service on it i can't imagine them like on their sheet that they tested it with 410 gauge shotgun rounds and 45 colt rounds but you know um i think that was probably just a typo
So, not a bad little pistol at all. Um, entry big boy revolver that's lightweight, easy to carry. Um, again, don't like the grips, but those are really easy to change out. Um, the sights seem to align pretty well. Um, I need to do a little bit of practice on this. Again, this is my big, my, uh, <laughs> this is my first um, 44 Magnum revolver that I've actually ever um, owned myself. Haven't been um, a big revolver shooter, but this might start it for me. So, um, I just want to say thanks again, Taurus, um, getting this fixed up for me, um, getting it back to what it should have been um, when it was sold to me. But I understand that there are issues when you have a big production of products, you know, you're going to get your um, here and there's that are lemons. So, um, thanks for fixing this for me. I have a lot better outlook for your revolvers now. I appreciate that. And uh, I hope everybody watches this video, likes it down below, um, and uh, shoot some comments in there too. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later.